Hello friends. Welcome back. If you guys are new, I would really love for you to put a comment down below and let me know like when you joined or what keeps you here. Like it really does like intrigue me like how people find my channel and what intrigues them about staying and watching. It actually helps me to like know what you guys want to see here on my channel and what is appealing to you guys. Sorry, I'm fixing the air. I need it to blow directly <laughs> on me. So we went to the, are we? I went to the dollar store this morning and it's not really like a haul necessarily because it's, most of it is not for me. I did get some parchment paper. Well, I'll just show you what I got. I went for Dove soap for us and I got some parchment paper and some double-sided tape. I don't know if you remember the last Dollar Tree haul that I did or one time, two times ago. Again, I'll link that video here. But I got double-sided tape and it is nowhere to be found in our house. Everyone in the family has asked to use the double-sided tape and I can't find it anywhere. And you guys know that I just organized my entire office. Link that video here. Can't find it. I got some more. Let me just show you here. Let me put this camera down really quick. And I will show you what we got. Let me turn it so you don't see the steering wheel. So I, I'll do the stuff I got and then I'll explain the other stuff that I got. So just parchment paper, got two of those. Abby likes to make cookies, but it would be really nice for her to not have to get the pan all dirty every single time. And then there's another set of, I think it's cookies or something that I wanna make. And you do need to have parchment paper to cook them. And then we have run out of Dove soap. I only use Dove soap for my face now and we use it in the shower. And so they're the cheapest at dollar store. Tic Tacs, we are back to wearing masks here in Washington. I'm smelling my own breath. So there's my double-sided tape. So then the other thing that I that I came to the dollar store for is for church. And I help do activities for Ashley's class at church. And it's just simple little activities twice a month. Usually we try and have like some kind of, you know, church related theme, but also it's just like they're activities. They're not church lessons and it's not on Sunday. Usually you just try and have it to be uplifting. And so I'm going to do one tonight. We're back to school night is what we're kind of deeming it as. And I'm just giving them a little bit of a, a boost and um, encouragement as they get excited to go back to school. I'm also kind of doing it as like the theme of who are you or knowing who you are, making sure you're strong in your own identity in going into school. Like I know that these kids are only eight. Teaching these kids to be strong and teaching them to be, you know, to know who they are is important even from a really young age. So with that in mind, we are going to make some keychains out of these cute little beads. I actually got these a little while ago and I just haven't made them um, because I couldn't find the string to put them on. So I got three packages of these and I'm gonna have the girls spell out their name and then we're gonna put it on a keychain. And then I also got, I haven't found the keychains yet, but I think I have some at home. But then I also got these beads in nice little back to school colors, primary color, red, yellow, blue, green, and purple. Okay, so then I also found string. It's five yards of the of each of these, so I think I have enough for eight girls. I don't even think they're gonna need five yards, obviously, but I wanted to have enough of each color in case two or three girls want purple or whatever. And then I'm going to, so part of what I'm going to do in order to like, present to them at the activity and also keep socially distanced and not have everyone touching everything. I'm going to have everyone on blankets, individual blanket, and we're gonna try and be outside. It's really nice weather today, so I think we'll be able to be outside and I'll have everything into individual bags. I just got this eight pack of gift bags and I'll put everything in here and I might even, if I have time, I might even spell their names out and put it into a little baggie and put it in here so that they're not touching all the other beads. And then they can pour some beads onto a plate um, that they choose. So then also as a little gift to them going back to school, I got these little notebooks. There's four in the pack, so I got two of them. I have about seven or eight girls. The other leader can't come because her two kids are sick, and so that's one girl that's not gonna be able to be there, but I'll make her a kit anyway. Um, but it has four different patterns to it on that one. And then I got this one, and it says, it's the little things in life. And I don't know what the other ones say. I guess I could open it up. Oh, the other ones don't say anything. That's kind of that's kind of like misleading uh, marketing to have the front one have a saying and then none of the other ones do. There's green and purple and yellow. Again, kind of with that like back to school red, yellow, blue theme. So I'm betting that this one maybe doesn't have a saying on every one of them. Dollar store. So there's that one. Yeah, they're so deceiving. I cannot believe this right now. 
The other ones are blank. What cheapskates? I know it's the dollar store, I get it. But why put something on the front one if you're not gonna do it on all of them? So then I got some snacks to go in it and I absolutely detest SpongeBob. But these are those little like, I don't, you're not gonna be able to see. Let me see if I can get you up close. Okay, it's these little build your own hamburgers. <laughs> And they're like gummies. I don't know why kids are so fascinated with these, but my kids love them. And so I just thought that would be kind of something kind of fun to give them. And then I also got airheads. I'm not gonna have them eat the snacks at the activity because we need to keep our mask on, but these are all pre-wrapped so I won't be touching their food. You know what I mean? So then that was all I was going to get. And then I was, you know, at the checkout, I saw these cute little sanitizer containers. Let me see if I can find them all, all the different. Ashley actually had this idea herself, but I was kind of worried about spending the money and finding enough. But I saw these ones, you guys. Ask for forgiveness with my budget afterward. I'm just gonna turn in my receipts and they're gonna refund it. I spent $22 on all of this stuff, so it's fine. It's fine. I probably had a $5 budget. <laughs> But they haven't really spent money on anything for a long time, so it's it's totally fine. But look at these. Look how cute that one is. Okay, so then I got a unicorn. Total eight-year-old style, you guys. Panda with a watermelon, a little mermaid. Oh, and then there's another love one, and another panda one, and another mermaid one. And then they can hang these on their backpacks and have their sanitizer to go back to school. I think it's really cute. And it's just kind of, you know, it's what our world is right now. And the mess I just made, <laughs> it's like dumped all over my, that's, I, you know, I tell you how it is. And I haven't had my drink yet today. Anyway, I just think it's gonna be really cute for the girls to be able to hang these on their backpacks. My girls already have one on their backpack, but I just wanted to have something to remember who they are, you know, that kind of thing. And obviously we'll talk more about church stuff when we go to the activity, but it'll be a really fun activity and it's my first time going and the other leader won't be there. I'm not intimidated or worried or anything because I've done this many, many times before at church. I've been in charge of kids. I've been in charge of 22 kids, under three and under. Like, I can handle uh, about five or six eight-year-olds. I can totally handle it. Let's see what else. So I have to go and prep all of these bags. I will show them to you when they're all done. And then I have something fun coming in the mail. I talked about that sandwich. Uh, what are they called it? I'll show you when I get home. It's coming in the mail within the next hour or two. So I'll show that to you. Got a new phone case, but that's kind of a, <laughs> that's a surprise coming tomorrow in the mail. And I did something and I had to ask for forgiveness because I didn't ask permission. <laughs> That is coming tomorrow. All right, I'm here with Chelsea and Ashley and they're helping me put together our little kits. Aren't they cute, Ashley? Yeah. Oh, they're two different colors, like so that's kind of cute. I like You like those ones? Yeah. So they turned out really cute and Kaylee is very jealous of these guys. She didn't know that they had those at the dollar they're store. Cute. So we're just gonna make our little kits and then we're just gonna put these beads in little bowls and they can just tell me how many they want and I can put it in a little, a little bowl themselves. I'm also watching the Seahawk game that was not recorded on my TV Saturday night until like 11 p.m. Sunday night. I have no idea why the first recording wasn't recorded. So uh, this one so is like sworn worries. to secrecy. She's already looked at the score. Oh, the one you have to worry about is Jacob. Though. I know. Speaking of name beads, Abby, that's adorable. She just walked down here and she's like, look what I did to my well, shoes. That is so cute. Oh, and then she has like more beads right there. Abby, that's really cute. Okay, so we're gonna put these all into the kit. And I'm watching the game. You have to be quiet when I watch the game. So her boyfriend, he needs to make sure he never tells me the score of the game ahead of time because he was giving me such a hard time last night or no, Saturday night when it didn't record. Anyway, he was giving me a hard time and uh, Mutt had looked up the, the score. I told him he's not invited here and I'm not feeding him. <laughs> he tells me any score ahead of time. If he's watching, and I know he does. He, he does. does. He was watching it once. <laughs> Do not tell me the score ahead of time. Crash. Even five minutes ahead of time. He's not a Seahawk fan. Totally fine. I mean, we all have our faults. Um, he's a Minnesota fan through and through, so it's totally fine. But I'm gonna sit and watch this game and help put these kits together. All right, I found the keychains at Hobby Lobby as I was coming home, and I saw a pack for $4.99. Then I also saw one on clearance. Okay. And I was tempted to get the one that was colorful, but I'm too cheap. <laughs> I got the one that came with 50 key rings, and it was only $1.24. So it comes with like the key ring, and then it also has the little attachment thing, which is perfect for kids, because they don't 
have an easy time using the actual key ring part. So this little clip here will be able to go onto their backpack really easy. So now we've got all of our bags all divvied up with all the snacks and all the notebooks and whatnot. I'll show you there inside. We put the beads into these little Tupperwares and then I've got my name. I'm gonna practice and show them how it is when it's all done. Yeah, you wanna help me? So I'm gonna try and like, so I'm gonna try and come up with a certain length and know it, I cut a whole bunch of these and know exactly what we need to do in order to make this happen in less than an hour. <laughs> Cause you know, you think you don't have, you know, you have too much time fill, but like it'll take these kids a little bit of time to get their bracelets all, they're not bracelets, keychains, they're keychains. If we have extra time, they can make a bracelet, but I don't think we're gonna have, we extra, time. have extra time. You normally have extra time? Yeah, cause like waiting for the parents to come. Yeah, we'll see. All right, here's mine. I've got to perfect the knot at the end and not have such a long little string. But that's kind of the idea. Obviously, I think the girls are gonna put more beads on it. They might even make it into a little loop or something, but I just did my name. Just wanted to give them an idea of what it might look like. And then I've got all of our supplies stocked up and I can sort through the beads and pick out their colors. I'm gonna take little um, paper bowls and then they can kind of pick out their colors and put them in their bowl. And I've got the string and we found that some of the little wooden holes in the beads weren't all the way through. So I'm just gonna bring a skewer stick and kind of poke it. And then I'm bringing extra of the letters in case we don't have enough for the names. Okay, mail came. Look at my cute case. And then, and then what's in here? It's your sandwich maker. This is what they look like. So I think it's a good time because she wants to eat cereal for lunch, but you're gonna need a sandwich. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna wash this and then we're gonna do a practice run on at least her sandwiches. So I'm gonna make five sandwiches from now until the day school starts and we're going to put them in the freezer and she's gonna practice eating them. See if she likes them frozen or not frozen, right? Mm -hmm. Ashley? Yeah. See if you like them frozen or not frozen? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you how these work. Okay, then Ashley opened up my new phone case and it came with a little cloud yeah. charm or something. I don't even know. Stickers. Oh, stickers. These are cute. Bitcoin. Oh, I didn't show it. Bitcoin and a little <laughs> kitty cat sticker. That's kind of funny. And then a I little doodad. I don't know what that is. I think it's supposed to go on the phone. Yeah, I don't know. We'll take all this stuff out. So here's my new phone case. And if you know uh, phones, iPhones, you know that it's not the same as my current phone. So might have a little something coming in the mail tomorrow that will fit into this. I don't do any cases without the ring on it anymore. As much as I like other cases, mm -hmm. I just, I have to have that. You used to have one with no, no one and then Chelsea dropped it because- Shattered it, yeah. So well, she, I had the ring on it and I always transfer it with the ring. But Chelsea, but didn't. Chelsea didn't let go. She didn't put her finger and through. And you were trying to like hang something, and I think you were trying to film it, and then she, yeah, I was up on a ladder, and so and I she thought just she thought it, thought you had it. And yeah, it just and it, no, she got angry at me. Yeah. Yeah, and shattered it. so I don't do them without the ring case. That way I can get them for cheaper. I don't have to worry about getting like super expensive cases and have it more protective on the outside because I just don't drop them anymore. The ring is, and then it stands up with the ring as well. I also got new masks for the older girls and the younger girls. Abby wanted some more colors. Kaylee wanted black. Let me show you, these ones are a different style than these ones. So these are, I couldn't find the 32 cool ones that they sell um, at Costco that we've gotten in the past. So this is the closest I could get. They like the really, Abby likes the really thin ones because the other ones kind of bug her ears. Um, so I've got these four colors. She wanted them as neutral as possible. And then Kaylee wanted all black on hers. And she says that other fabrics like this bug her face when it actually touches her face. And so we just got her ones that are lined with cotton. She really likes these ones. I think a friend of hers had one like this and she borrowed it and she really liked it. So I got a whole bunch of them. I think I got six of these black ones. Yeah, six of those ones and then four of these ones. They can share them. And then let me show you what I have for the other girls. All right, so I'm gonna have to come up with another system for masks this year because everyone kind of has specific ones that they like. See, these are the 32 cool ones. They are sold out on Amazon and they don't sell them at Costco anymore. But see, there's kid ones and adult ones from 32 cool. Um, I only have a few more of these ones left. 
or that are still good. No one likes these ones. These ones are, were mine, but now I just like to wear my Hawaii one. I'm gonna have to start wearing more of these because we have a mask mandate now for indoors. So I will have to pull those ones out for myself. But then these are the new ones I just got for Chelsea and Ashley. Um, Chelsea didn't want any pink, so Ashley has the pink one. But anyway, they all have this little decal on them just so that I can tell the difference between everyone's and the bright colors, obviously. So I have a ton of masks, but they're gonna, I mean, we're gonna go through 12 masks a day for the most, well, six, and then when they come home, if they go out again, they're gonna have to wear a new mask. But those ones are Jason's right there. If I have, yeah, see, there's more. I got a ton for the little ones because I wanna make sure that they even take an extra one in case, oh, there's a 32, cool. See, they're very similar. These ones are similar to the ones I just got Abby and Kaylee. These ones right here. These ones are actually more thin. Abby really likes these ones. She said that they're really soft. And then no one likes these ones. These ones are all from Target. And none of them like these ones. Uh, Kaylee likes this one. But I think she's going to really like the cotton fabric of that one. So, and no one likes this one. <laughs> and that's, I don't know where all the rest of them have gone. But I'm going to separate these out into kids. Thank you. And I'm going to wash these ones. But I'm going to separate them out and put them into separate bags. So that everyone can find their masks really quick. But I'm a, I am going to ask them to wear a mask and keep one in their bag every day. Just so they have a backup in case they lose it. So, <laughs> I, don't know how I don't know how you make such a mess maybe. either. I really don't. I don't. But this is part of the reason why we're going to stop making sandwiches every morning. So that we don't have the mess every morning. And stress every morning. It's okay. It is a mess. We'll clean it up. Okay, put your sandwich together. Yeah, put your sandwich together. We have washed the big one. So here's the little one. So you can put this one into... I think you could probably get four squares. It says only two, but. Okay, so then you take this. We've washed this big one. And you're gonna take the big one right here. And then you're gonna stamp it. Like to take out the crust, but don't take it off. Push down. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to do this. This is your chore on Sundays. Push all the way to the plate. Right there. Okay, is it all the way down? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you gotta be able to hear that plate. Almost get the, the bread. See the bread is yeah. coming away. Okay, you can take that and eat it. I will. You can eat that. Your hands are so yeah. disgusting right yeah, now. It's okay. Now you're going to take this and then, and then you're going to push down. All the way? Yeah. Yeah, you're sealing the edge. Keep going. Okay. There and then. Okay, now lift that up. Okay, and then. Okay. Okay, and then turn it over. Yeah. See, now the side is crimped up. And then you do a little heart. Yeah, you can. Well, you should have done that before. That's fine. No, no, no. That, that okay. won't like. You're normally supposed to stamp the thing before before you actually do it, but you can just do. Now you're gonna squish your. You're supposed to do this before you put the jelly in yeah. it. Oh, you know what? Let's stick it in again and like squish it. Well, you're just gonna eat this one, yeah. so we need to squish it down further. And use less jelly. Uh, yeah, and probably less jelly, but we got practice doing it, right? Yeah. And now should I do more? Do you want to do more? Sure. Was it kind of fun? How about you? Did you wash your hands? No. Why don't you eat that? Let's mm -hmm. use, let's save this plate. Eat this for now. Okay. And then um, we'll come back and we'll be make a bunch for the freezer. Okay. And then we'll see what they taste like frozen. So you'll, you obviously know what this one tastes like. Yeah. Not frozen. But we'll see what they taste like tomorrow when you get out a sandwich for lunch. I'll probably take it out. Yeah, you could take it with you when you go out. Do you like that? Okay. So Ashley's on a roll here. She's got five sandwiches made, and she's decided to make two more sandwiches. We're hoping to go to the beach tomorrow. We'll kind of see, right? She's going to make two more in case we want to take some to the beach. And I think these are going to freeze quite well. Um, It was good, but do you know I realized like two hours ago? No, I, I realized it's our anniversary today. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I totally just like shit. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot. <laughs> I forgot too. I've talked to you like three times today, and it just didn't even occur to me. I was sitting here. I don't know what I was doing, but I was like, wait, is it Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, happy band anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. I guess since we went out to eat, we said anniversary, plus we got the Hawaii coming up. So I know. That's why I'm not terribly worried about it. About having to do anything this year. So you're off the hook if you remember. <laughs> I didn't want you to be like, oh crap. That's oh well. Funny. I know, we both forgot. I mean, we both knew. We both knew not to do anything. So hopefully we can actually. That's why we, that's why we forgot. Yeah. We'll have to talk about um, Hawaii. I think we should still go, but we'll talk about it on the channel another day. But I'll see you soon. I'm going to make dinner really quick because I have to leave. So yeah, forgot the anniversary. <laughs> we will talk about Maui and 
uh, Governor Ige's latest request to not come in another video. <laughs> We'll do an update. We're gonna let things chill for a bit. That's all I'm gonna say. We are not canceling. Maybe that's irresponsible, but we're not canceling yet. We'll talk about it in another video. But I need to leave here in about 45 minutes to go to Ashley's activity. I've got all my stuff lined up here on the counter. I've got watermelon cut for dinner. We're also just gonna have some frozen corn. We had uh, corn on the cob last night and the night before, which was super good, but I just can't afford to keep buying it. And then the kids just have some chicken nuggets in the freezer from the freezer in the microwave. Oh my gosh, the oven. It's in the oven. I'm gonna take this and put it back out into the outside freezer. It's quite the handy to actually have a freezer that is functioning. So Jason's headed home, but by the time he gets home, I will probably have to dash right back out. We might end our video. Well, I'll show you the church um, a little bit as we get things all set up. Unfortunately, I won't probably be able to show you their little keychains when they make them because they're literally going to have their names on them. Just need to protect their privacy. They don't sign up to do YouTube. But I'm going to go put our little bags in the car. I'm really glad that neither Jason and I are, are upset that we forgot our anniversary. <laughs> in the years past, I would have just held it over his head and I would have stayed quiet until he got home. And then I would have been fuming and not saying anything. And then I would have gotten mad and angry. And it's been 20 years, <laughs> 24 years since we met. So, you know, maturity says it's okay. We love each other. Flowers don't make any difference. So I just can't believe I forgot until middle, middle afternoon today that it was our anniversary. Oh well. All right, well, that was a very big success. I couldn't really film any of it. I just, I think, showed you the blankets <laughs> put out on the lawn. But that method did work to keep the kids separated. And as long as they stayed on their blanket, I let them keep their mask off. But any time they got off the blanket to come and get beads or whatever, we had them put their mask on. And Ashley, did you have a fun time? Yeah. Yeah? And we planned their activities for, I think we came up with like eight ideas, yeah, eight to 10 ideas. And at only two activities a month, we're kind of covered for a couple months. I think we will sign off for the night. I just realized, Abby, like four hours ago, dad and I realized that we Hello. didn't even say happy anniversary to, to each other. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot that it was our anniversary. Both of you forgot? Yeah, I called him and I was like, so I've already talked to you. This is my third time talking to you and happy anniversary and he's like oh crap <laughs> he's like i'm so sorry and he's like am i off the hook we already talked about it like we said that we weren't gonna do anything and i was like yeah you're off the hook i forgot until now you're doing an anniversary trip in a couple months i know so it's fine yeah. anyway we will see you guys next time take care